And a major blow to Theresa May's cabinet, both her foreign affairs secretary, Boris Johnson, and her minister in charge of Brexit negotiations, David Davis, have resigned. The move highlighting the ongoing chaos surrounding Brexit negoci negotiations. President Trump is set to arrive in London tomorrow. Wilfred Frost is there now. And he has spoke with former Secretary of Foreign Affairs, William Hague. Wil Wilfred. Hey, Morgan. Yes, indeed. And we, in fact, uh, started by talking about NATO, of course, the NATO meeting taking place at the moment. And I asked uh, Lord Haig whether President Trump had a point in calling out Germany's commitment to NATO. I think he does have a point uh, about the spending of European countries on defence, including Germany. Uh, and of course it was agreed at the NATO summit in Wales four years ago that NATO countries would aim to spend 2% of their GDP on defence. Only four of them do so so far, including here in the UK. Eight of them are about to do so. Uh, but Germany is the big country that has the biggest gap there. So he has a point. Um, he's not always um, incredibly diplomatic about how he pursues these points, and so it doesn't always go down necessarily very well in Europe. He did also say that the EU should try and be more energy independent from Russia. I then asked whether he'd be concerned if this NATO meeting ended in acrimony. It would be a great concern if the meeting with NATO ended in acrimony. Uh, because this is a vital alliance, and irrespective of the financial considerations, I, I hope it will always be appreciated in the United States that that's not the only aspect of this alliance that is important. That the United States in the 20th century was twice embroiled in a catastrophic war here in Europe because of a breakdown of European security. And an alliance that maintains European security is fundamentally in the interests of the United States almost irrespective of what the individual members spend. That's just one angle uh, on this alliance. Much more to come uh, from this interview in Power Lunch and Closing Bell, including the fact that he thinks Brexit is now less likely following Boris Johnson's resignation, that it would be, quote, a great mistake to change the occupant of 10 Downing Street, Theresa May, of course, and his belief that Italy will one day leave the euro. Guys. Uh, Wilfred Frost is going to help us uh, navigate uh, the president's next, ch next chapter uh, through Europe. Wilfred, thank you very much. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.